Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody. Well guys, so, um, finally something is changing on the euro currency and we uh, could return to the discussion, the situation uh, on this currency pair. So what we see, uh, in our weekly update on the prior week we said that probably it's a bit early to speak about the reversal because everybody around has started to talk about the 1.22 targets and that dollar should rise, euro should fall and so on. And by the technical picture we said that this is a bit too early because market has not formed yet any reversal patterns. And if this is, will be really the long term reversal as it was suggested by the analysts uh, that who, who made the conclusions on the Fed Reserve speech and on the recent US economy data, that probably should be looked like the some extended reversal pattern on the daily time frame chart, something big, I suppose, something on the head and shoulders or something of that sort. Because when the market reverses to the downside on the long term charts, it usually looks like the some significant pattern should appear on the shorter term time, time frame. But here we do not see anything yet. Nothing has been formed yet. Even more we said that uh, very it's a bit curious that market has left intact these highs and one of the patterns that could be formed here uh, it could be the big butterfly we said this could be the left wing of the butterfly right also we have slightly untouched the 1618 extension target of this ABC bottom pattern that's also rare happens when the market leaves intact some significant targets that stands slightly higher than these highs so probably before reversal, if it will really happen, we should see how market will behave around this top. As we said, currently bulls uh, in the general market stands on the edge. Because if market will show the washing rinse, the failure breakout of these highs, return right back down. In this case probably we could start to think about the reversal and start to monitor what pattern will be formed, what reversal pattern will appear here. But if market will move above it and will hold above it, that could be the challenge on the 1.44 and this could this could mean that market really could continue move higher despite all the talks of the about 1.22 and so on uh, almost as on gold market this is gold market now there are almost every everybody talk about the testing of the 1000 even area and then gold has lost its attractiveness as the safe haven and its interest for, to the gold market uh, has tried to fall and so on. Probably we will see the further downward trend. But Germany has repatriated uh, about the, 30, the 36 tons of the gold mar of the spot gold to the um, from from the friends uh, on the past month. So that's something is wrong with this talks, I suppose. And uh, when everybody starts to th to talk about the dollar appreciation on go all gold falling, it means probably that uh, markets could really have not bad chances to uh, turn to the opposite direction. Uh, this is the well-known rule. So when uh, guys, uh, your grandmother uh, carries your, uh, their money uh, to uh, mutual fund, stock mutual fund, it means that it's time to sell the equities. So that's approximately the same. Uh, well, and that's why uh, on the euro currency currently, I think that it's still a bit too early to speak about the reversal since I think that market somehow should, should challenge these highs prior to the reversal or upward continuation. Whatever will, what will, whatever will uh, follow after this challenge, either true breakout or fake breakout, but market probably should hit the area around 138.6 to 139 area. It's right here. Complete this ABCD pattern and so on. And here on the daily time frame chart we see a couple of moments. First of all, take a look how this action has developed. So market has shown the plunge on the Fed Reserve speech and prior to the holidays market has formed this high wave pattern and we said high wave pattern itself is not the directional. 
but depending on what direction the market will choose after that will probably lead to further continuation. So this is some sort of the indecision. But when the market and you need to take a look at the prior the uh, Christmas holidays market forms this inside session stands in fact inside the range of this high wave pattern. But today market has chosen direction take out these highs of this high wave pattern and continue move higher. So it means that uh, guys here we could get for instance the butterfly sell pattern. So if you'll take a look at this swing from this high to this low 127 extension stands precisely almost pips to pips in agreement with the 1618 extension of this ABCD pattern. So that could be at least a minor butterfly. If we, if we will not get this big butterfly, so we could get this minor butterfly. Okay? Because this is really fast move up. And market, take a look. Market has shown the retracement after all this uh, Fed Reserve speech of the, after tremendous data that uh, market was shown on the previous week on the grass domestic product on the non-farm payrolls release. This market has formed only the 3.8 retracement. It's minor retracement from the whole swing up. Okay, 3.8 bounce. It it even hasn't quite reached the 3.8 level. It has stick has stuck inside of this confluence daily confluence support and shows move up. Okay. Another reason why I think that market still could continue move higher is on the four-hour time frame chart. So if we'll take a look at the four-hour time frame chart. Uh, first of all, take a look at this consolidation. I will change the color just to it's clearer. Okay, to not confused with the weekly pivot point. Okay, so take a look at this consolidation between these red lines. Usually, when the market breaks the consolidation to the downside. It will protect it from the returning right back up. So you can see how this works. So market has broken it down, retracement to it, tested it, retracement right back down, and return right, right inside of it. This is the bullish sign because market usually protects the broken consolidations and and trying to prevent the prices return right back inside of it. If market returns inside of the consolidation, usually it continues move at minimum to the previous. The, uh, the upper border of this consolidation. So returning right back inside of this consolidation is the short term bullish sign. Also take a look, that thick line is the monthly pivot point. So market has tested it, moved down and now moves above it. Besides this move up is really fast. So you can see this really fast acceleration to the upside. And th that's by the way the uh, ABCD target so of this extension. So if we measure this swing up, continue move here, you can see market has completed this ABCD action. But this BCD leg is re really fast and market uh, has shown a couple other signs. First, as I said, move about the weekly pivot point. Second, this is more significant, is return right back inside of this consolidation. That's why I think that market probably will continue move higher. But how much higher? Well, uh, guys, here I see a couple of possible scenarios. First scenario is uh, possibility for that butterfly will be narrow. So you can see that this could be the left wing of the butterfly, right? And that could be the start wing of the butterfly. And the market will continue move right back up to the target on the daily time frame, right here to 138.60 area by this small butterfly. Another uh, possibility that I see is that market will accomplish this A, B, C bottom. So 1618 extension right here. So you can see that this extension coincides with the upper border of this consolidation. And take a look, stands very close to the weekly pivot resistance one. So market, for instance, could show this move up and then show deep retracement so that this whole action will be the right wing. Oh, sorry, the left wing of the butterfly. Okay? But anyway, the targets of these butterflies are the same because they are based on the same swing from that high to this low. Whether it will be a narrow butterfly or it will be a wide butterfly, it's uh, absolutely uh, doesn't matter in terms of the target because target will be the same and it will stand around one uh, 38.60 area. So that's been said. By taking a look at the euro currency, uh, I see we see here uh, some bullish signs by the return right back inside of the consolidation. In that point, me on the thought 
that market still could challenge these highs prior to the end of the year. I speak about this swing high. What will follow next? It were difficult to currently to forecast. Maybe this will be the failure breakout. Maybe the market will hold above it. I do not know. But now chances are much better on the challenging of these highs and complete completing of these targets around 136, uh, 13860 area than it, it was right after the Fed Reserve speech. So let's see what will happen. But currently, um, I would better treat this situation more as the bullish rather than bearish in the short term. So I think that currently, uh, at, at least at my taste, the situation looks a bit more um, in favor of the upward continuation rather than some kind of the ABC direction to the downside. So let's see what will happen.